Help support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. We have our next guest here. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? Fine, thanks. Go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Yes, so my name is, Ante, uh, is Asim Bukaima, co-founder and CEO, co-CEO of uh, Symbiosis, a Swiss startup developing next generation of uh, health monitoring uh, sensors. All right. And uh, what is available in that category from you? Yeah, so we started as a B2B company trying to bring uh, miniaturization of health monitoring sensors to the next level. And in this journey, we uh, developed the smallest uh, photoplethysmography sensor uh, on the market. Uh, photoplethysmography is uh, PPG. <laughs> So that um, PPG is this technology that you have on the back of your Apple Watch or okay. any smartwatch that would uh, allow tracking your vitals. Okay. So we miniaturized that and so we it's, made so it. So it's that guy. Exactly. Okay. So that big guy turns into a very tiny little guy that you can fit inside a smart ring. And this is what we present today. Oh. Uh, it's called Velia Smart Ring. So, uh, okay. It's a discrete health tracker. Yes. So, this is the magnetic watch bands. So, this yes. is the sensor that I have on my watch. There we exactly. go. Exactly. Yeah. So and this circular part is replaced by each of I mean, each one of these little f windows that you see here yeah. embeds our sensor, and we have six of them all around, so Got that it. we all, all all the time have and track very good uh, signal quality. Okay. And even gotcha. if you rotate the ring, you keep having good signal. Well, thank goodness for that, because that's <laughs> my number one problem with rings. Exactly, I, rotating. I specifically have a fidget ring for that reason. I mess with it constantly. So, yeah. so you'll still have good... Uh, good uh, signal, even if the ring rotates. And, and we think this is an important uh, point, because uh, today there are smart rings on the market, but they are still cumbersome. And also uh, designed rather for masculine audience rather yeah. than female audience because they're, they're quite big. Yeah. So with these, we can also uh, target appropriately almost everyone. And uh, we aimed at a design that looks like a piece of jewelry outside but smart inside. So here we can't tell a big difference between my wedding ring and my uh, Velia smart ring. Right. So uh, the idea is that uh, we want this device to be tracking health in the back, not popping off messages all the time, not disturbing. Okay. It will be focusing at the beginning on three axes. The first one is sleep monitoring. So it will be tracking your sleep, staging when you are sleeping, okay. giving you hypnograms if you want to look at them. If you don't want to look at them, it will be just analyzing. And if it notices, uh, notices throughout uh, weeks, for instance, that your sleep patterns are not good, you're not sleeping well, you, have, uh, you wake up too many times, even if you don't notice, it will let you know. So that you change something in your lifestyle or you, uh, so that you improve this. Also, it monitors stress and it correlates sleep with stress. So during sure. your, 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 your work day, you're sitting, working uh, key on your keyboard, on your smartphone, whatever, it will be tracking data and tracking your s stress uh, particularly. And then correlating this stress data over the day with your sleep data and checking if there are correlations. Too many stress, bad sleep, or, and vice versa, and so okay. on. This is the second one. The third axis would be hypertension. So we want the device to, be, uh, to play a role in prevention. So hypertension is a chronic disease, but once it's there, it's there. You have to spend the rest of the life with pills. So uh, in order to avoid this, prevention is key. So many people are developing a tendency towards hypertension, but they're not aware. We want the device to make them aware. So which means it will be tracking during sleep uh, the tendency of hypertension to increase or to decrease. And then if something is wrong, if we see that consistently uh, blood pressure is increasing throughout weeks and months, then we warn the user so that he changes some, something in his lifestyle yeah. to get that uh, uh, resolved before going into a serious uh, condition of hypertension. So this, uh, these are the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the main uh, use cases that we have uh, imagined for our device and also 
in general, the device tracks heart rate, heart rate variability, oxygen saturation, respiration rate, and other vitals. And uh, those vitals will be stored uh, in the app. The user can check them if he wishes. But if he doesn't, uh, the, the, uh, our server and our algorithms will be doing the job in the back to watch and look after his sure. health and give him messages when needed. Gotcha. Uh, so let's talk some tech slash usability things. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's an active device. It's not passive. So it's got a battery, which means it's got to be charged. Yes. How frequently? It charges, uh, it depends on the size. So we have the smallest size is US 6, the biggest one is US 14. The smallest would uh, keep uh, the, the, the battery lifetime for uh, three to four days. The big ones could go up to five days. Okay. And uh, this is also subject to improvement because we are at the early stage of development and we can still uh, improve this. But charging time does not take too long because batteries are small. So uh, 20 minutes are enough for full charge. Yeah. Okay. So. Throw it on the charge, take a shower, all's good. Yeah, or you can take shower with because it's waterproof. So oh, it is? Okay. You can swim with, you can take shower, you can, yeah. So okay. it's really for daily use without, uh, without issues. Yeah. Okay. But once every couple days, you yeah. jump into the shower, throw yeah, it on the exactly. charger, everything's no issue. fine. Yeah, no issue. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So you said you're early in development. How early? Well, we... Uh, First of all, we, was a, we were a B2B, B2B company developing sensors. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. when we saw the potential of this, we brought it into this ring and we said, let's test the product to market fit. Let's see if people want this really. So we went to crowdfunding. Okay. Uh, we started with Kickstarter and then with Indiegogo and it was a, a tremendous success. So uh, one point, over $1.8 million of uh, pre-orders wow. in a couple of months. So we said, definitely, we have to do this. Uh, most of the pre-orders were in the in the in the U.S. market, so that's why we want to start here. So today the uh, timeline is the following: we have uh, locked, almost locked, the design with our EMS companies, which means par partners for industrialization. As you know, the sensor is ours. Sensor mm -hmm. technology is ours. All the rest is our design, and uh, we we the assembly, uh, high quality assembly. We are today about finalizing the design and we are also in uh, the frame of fundraising we try to bridge uh, what is required for mass production uh, with investors so that we have enough funding so that we can we can we can start uh, uh, mass producing and delivering to the backers and also uh, selling throughout our our online uh, uh, website and then uh, on at a later stage we would uh, hit the growth for the company and then go for another funding stage yeah okay so, so between today and uh, a go-to-market. If we secure our funding today, yeah, our right. go-to-market will be Q2 2024. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you, if you get your funding, you're pretty much ready to roll. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very cool. If people want to find out more about this, how can they do that? They can go on our website, uh, symbiosis.com, or uh, on uh, veliasmartring.community.com. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking to me today. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. It was my pleasure. Good luck with the rest of the show, and hopefully you. you get your funding. Thank you. <laughs>